this is the second bi-directional Bluetooth scanner dongle that I'm aware of that comes with lifetime free updates. And so when King Bolen reached out to me asking if I could review this scan tool, I said yes. I've been using it for a while now and here's my review of the King Bolen e Diag Elite and all you need to know just in case you're considering getting this tool. Now let's get this. Just to disclose that I got this as a free review sample, but the manufacturer has seen none of the footage and had no input into the video. Unboxed and we have some documentation, inclusive of the activation code, and then we have this neat carry case for the device. Unzipping that and we have the eDiag Elite. Build quality isn't the best that I've seen, but it's not bad either. It has two LED indicators at opposite ends to indicate when data communication is happening. Now let's go ahead and plug this into my 2017. Honda Accord, you would need to download this eDiag app. The QR code is listed on the quick start guide which also tells you how to activate the device. Now let's go ahead for some demos. You have the report and history tabs for previous scans. You also have the vehicle coverage to check which vehicles and what functions are covered in this tool. For example, here's the coverage for the 2016 through 2024 Honda Accords. I should be testing some of these in the coming weeks. Just let me know if you'd want to see that. You also have this generic OBD2 tab which I won't go into because you basically have these functions in the cheapest of generic scan tools. Maintenance functions are your typical service functions and there are 15 in total. It has the regular basic stuff like throttle relearn, ABS bleeding, steering angle reset, injector coding and interestingly immobilizer reset or key programming. However this function needs some work. While I was able to repeatedly erase keys from a 2013 Toyota RAV4, adding those keys back using the add a key function just kept on failing. It eventually worked after several times but even at that I wasn't able to reprogram the keys again and so I had to pull in one of my other scanners to program the keys back to the vehicle. I also tried this on my 2017 Honda Accord but it was the same result. I wasn't able to program any keys. Moving on to the All System Diagnostic tab, just to note that you have to download car makes individually at no extra cost. I think King Bolen took this approach so that you can only download the cars that you need. I was able to decode the VIN of this car and then went ahead to select the other parameters to narrow down to this model. This is an All System scanner and you'll be able to have access to all the different modules in the car and so let's just go ahead and do that. This completed in about 2 minutes. 17 seconds which is quite decent for a bluetooth dongle. I then went ahead into system selection and into different ECUs to demonstrate some active tests. I was able to turn on the fuel pump, lock and unlock doors and also really nice was that I was able to test individual solenoid valves for the ABS module. Here you can see I'm testing the left front solenoid valve of the ABS. With your foot on the brake, you should feel the pedal kick back against your foot if the solenoid is working normally. And of course, I was also able to get into live data. You're able to select a maximum of four PIDs at any one time and graph them. So no surprises there. And now to the things that I don't like about this tool. The first thing I don't really like about the tool is that it's slow compared to other tools that I've used and this brings me to the second thing which I believe could be improved which is the software experience. I just think that certain things don't make sense. For example, King Bullen has made it a must that you have to have internet turned on for the device to work properly so they've made some of these functions online. The question is what if I'm in the middle of nowhere without any connectivity? That means that this tool is not going to work as it's designed. Scan reports are stored online as against storing it locally on the tool. And for some of you, this may be a deal breaker. All of this, I believe, is part of what slows the tool down. My third obvious gripe is the fact that key programming functions has serious issues. As you saw earlier, aside the Toyota, I wasn't able to program keys on Honda either. Now, the truth is that I wouldn't have had a problem if this tool never mentioned that it supports key programming. But if you're going to list a function as part of what your tool does, then the expectation is that it has to work. And so, if you're really considering this tool just for programming keys, I won't recommend you get it just yet. Let's wait and see if King Bolen fixes the key programming function or removes it entirely. I'll leave a pinned comment down below once I get an update on this issue. With all of that said, let's not forget that this is a bi-directional scanner which supports all system scans, has decent maintenance functions, also has lifetime free updates 
and yet you can get this tool using my discount coupon for less than a hundred dollars now the truth is is this tool for everyone definitely not or if you're in the market for a new tool and your budget is under hundred dollars this is a decent option you should check out thanks for watching today hope you found this useful do check out other scanner videos i have on the channel and i'll catch you on the next one peace